Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining Mother and Refuge of the End Times. We would like to share with you a message of our Lord Jesus Christ to Luz de Maria. Come, Holy Spirit, enlighten our minds to discern and live in the most holy will of God in all things, that no evil may prosper through us or against us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. On May 27, 2023, our Lord Jesus Christ said to Luz de Maria de Bonilla, Beloved children, I bless you. Live in fraternity according to my will. I invite you to true repentance and to confess your sins so that you would receive the grace of having a greater love on this very special day, the Feast of my Holy Spirit. In order for you to overcome all that you are living through and all that is to come, you need the fruit of love, that love which goes beyond what is human, that love which my Holy Spirit pours out upon my children in the face of calamities and so that they would not despair. The love of my Holy Spirit will keep you from despair, being steadfast and holding to faith in me. Constantly ask for the gifts of my Holy Spirit within you. It is necessary for you to possess them and to be worthy of such great treasures. The gift of wisdom, gift of understanding, gift of counsel, gift of fortitude, gift of science, gift of piety, gift of the fear of God. You must work and act in my will, being observers of my law, leading a worthy life and living with dignity. From the gifts of my Holy Spirit come the fruits necessary for a righteous life, being fully aware that without me you are nothing. These are love, which leads you to charity, to live fully in fraternity and to fulfillment of the first commandment. Joy, as the soul's rejoicing above all confirms to you that with me there are no fears. Peace is the result for those who surrender to my will and live securely in my protection in spite of earthly life. Patience belongs to those who are not disturbed, either by the adversities of life or by temptations, but who live in total harmony with their neighbor. Long-suffering, knowing how to wait for my providence, even when everything seems impossible, provides you with generosity. Amiability, the kind and gentle person has it, maintaining gentleness in their dealings with others. Kindness always benefits one's neighbor. Devotion to one's brother is constantly present in the person who has it in my likeness. Meekness keeps you even-tempered. It is a true break on anger and wrath. It does not tolerate injustice. It does not allow vengeance or rancor. Faithfulness bears witness to my presence in the person who is faithful to me to the end, living by my love in truth. Modesty, as temples of my Holy Spirit, live with dignity and decorum, giving that temple the necessary dignity so as not to grieve my Holy Spirit. Moderation, having my Holy Spirit a person has a high degree of awareness. The person thereby maintains order in their works and actions, not desiring what they do not possess, being a witness to inner order and controlling their appetites. Chastity. As temples of my Holy Spirit, you are in true fusion with me. For this you must entrust yourselves to me, thereby weakening not only the disorders of the flesh, but also the inner disorder that leads you to disorder in your works and actions. Beloved children, be true witnesses of my Holy Spirit, not half-heartedly, but completely. Pray, beloved children, pray, 
volcanoes will roar and cause my children to suffer, changing the climate throughout the earth. Beloved children, pray that the presence of my Holy Spirit in fullness in my children would cause evil not to penetrate within humanity. Pray, my children, great pain will come upon my church. Pray, my children, pray for humanity to trust in me. My Holy Spirit reigns in each of my children. It is up to each person to welcome him and to work and act rightly so that he would remain in you. Remain on spiritual alert. I bless you with my love, your Jesus. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. A Commentary of Luz de Maria Brothers and sisters, in the light of such great gifts and fruits that our Lord Jesus Christ emphasizes for us, we must strive to attain them worthily, not being content to look at them from afar or seeing them as something unattainable. Our attitude is extremely important. Let us maintain our awareness of the need to be filled with the Holy Spirit in the unity of the Most Holy Trinity. Sequence Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our store, come within our bosoms shine. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below. In our labor rest most sweet, grateful coolness in the heat, solace in the midst of woe. O most blessed light divine, shine within these hearts of yours and our inmost being fill. When you are not, we have not, Nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint or ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew, on our dryness pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore, in your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtue's sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. A Third Order Augustinian, Luz de Maria de Bonilla, is an Argentinian mother of eight children who bears the stigmata. She began receiving heavenly visitations from her guardian angel and Our Lady as a little girl in her native Costa Rica. Along with her prayer cenacles, Luz publishes Heaven's Messages under the guidance of her longtime confessor, two other priests, and a nun, and her book of messages was granted the imprimatur of the Church in 2017. Brothers and sisters, please see the description below for links to our Telegram, Facebook, Signal, and Rumble pages. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.